I'm excited about Judy Collins. Judy is so timeless. I'm just as happy now to see her performance when I was in my barefoot days. <laughs> you guys, things are going really, really well with my book. You know, my first pages are due next week, and I've gotten a lot done, so I feel like if I continue at this rate, then I'm going to get there quickly with the book. What's up, honey? Lorraine. And I'm just telling you about my book. You're counting Lorraine. to eight. No, she's counting. Maybe no, I'm after not. The show. I'm not. Look, if your head is filling up and you're getting county, uh, we, we need to know. We can help you, but not if you don't let us know. Well, how would you help me? If it was going on, theoretically, which it isn't, so I don't need help. We'd bring you home for a little bit and get you straightened out with uh, Dr. Shupak, Shupak with, your, uh, with your OCD. Dr. Shupak is a pediatrician, okay? And I don't have OCD. If I did have OCD, I would tell you because I wouldn't be able to hold that in. Sweetie, you're not holding it in. I'm not holding it in because I don't have to hold it in because it's not going on, Mom. And if it was, don't you think that I would say something to you about it? Okay, it hurts me more than it hurts you. I'm the one who has to experience it, not you. I'm the one who has to experience it. You think we didn't experience it? You think we didn't suffer worrying about whether you'd have a normal life? Oh, no, we don't know why you had OCD. We don't know why. I mean, we're still married. We never raised a hand to you. Of it's not. not our fault. Okay. Well, it's genetic, which is sort of the ultimate your fault, so. Oh, come on. I mean, this Ladies hasn't happened since high school. And it was very bad in high school? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty bad. I counted stuff. It was oh. bad. What did you count? Uh, every pulse in my vagina. Um, I would force myself to see things on a loop of eight, like sexual things, murder things. So it was really a classical presentation. Well, okay. Then I guess it's classic to have to masturbate eight or 16 times a night until your legs shake and you're crying and you're trying to make sure that your parents didn't hear you. So you check their door eight times. Then you move your toothbrush 64 times. Then you move your dad's toothbrush 64 times. Then you go back and forth between the two, moving each one eight times until you've reached 64 times. But then you realize that that doesn't feel quite right either. And suddenly it's three in the morning and you're fucking exhausted and you go to school the next day looking like a zombie. It's classical. Anyway, I took medicine, so. Are you taking medicine now? Mm-mm. Why? Uh, because it made me tired. How tired? Very tired. So why are your parents so worried, do you think? Uh, because they think I seem anxious. Do you have a reason to be anxious? Um, I went through a breakup about a month ago. And was that stressful? Uh, yeah, it was pretty stressful. He acted very crazy and not normal, and uh, he's still trying to contact me, so... And that was unwanted? Uh, in some ways. I mean, I can't really decide if he's, like, the greatest person in the world or the worst, and I should probably take my space till I figure that out, according to everybody, so. Also, I don't really think you would understand any of my problems because you seem like you have a tremendous amount of willpower and general togetherness. And why do you say that? Well, I'm not gonna, like, give you a compliment now. <laughs>